Hi, welcome to product review by Watt Hour. In this video, we are going to do the review of this 18650 lithium ion battery tester charger and discharger. With this, you can measure the capacity, you can charge the batteries, four of them via USB C, and also you can discharge them. You can connect your load to this terminal, they're directly out. I'm going to explain the module, I'm going to explain measure the input current uh, on the display the total current and then we're going to see the current for the cell on the meter so we we can compare and see how much is the reading and how much actually goes to the battery uh, when we are charging it and also we are going to discharge and test it this video has two sections in the first section, we learn quickly how to use this device for those people who don't want to watch the other tests and the results and everything. After that, we are going to do a lot of tests by measuring the current and voltage on the battery and the current, external current that enters the device and the current that goes to the battery. And also we will compare it and we will test different methods and you will see the automatic and loop and all other features. Let's get started with this. I've, I've arranged this video in two ways. The first one is to show you very quickly how to connect, how to charge and discharge the battery. And that's it. This does not balance the battery. So sometimes people say, will it balance? No, there is no balancing because there is no multiple cell. It's just one cell. Each cell is independent. There is a lot of tests. After watching this section, which is one or two minutes, then you can watch the full tests and I measure the currents of each cell, charge current, discharge current, and input current, all of those tests. This video has chapters. Please use chapters to jump to different sections of the video. This is a detailed video. On the larger screen, you can click here on the status bar and you will see different chapters of the video. On your mobile device, you will see the menu. When you touch it, you will see all the chapters where you can click and touch to move to that section of the video. I'm connecting it with, from my external power via USB. So this is the very basic and quick test. We, have, we can connect two different sources because uh, each, uh, let's say if this can handle 2 ampere, this can handle 2 ampere, so you can connect two connectors here and each will charge different batteries and the amount of uh, power will be spread. So you can do so, but if you want to use one, also you can do that. Now for the battery, this side is negative, this side is positive. Be careful, I don't think it, it, it will survive if you reverse polarity and connect it. So now I'm connecting it to channel 3. And it detected it that there is channel 3 and it shows immediately the voltage for me. Let me, uh, let me connect the channel 1 and then channel 2. These are all charged batteries. And channel 4. So, to see each battery just press this button it goes to channel one it shows the voltage and any action that you have for example charge or discharge and this way you can see number two number three number four with this you can select that the type of task that you want so this gives you menu menu let me press it and as you can see it moved the red moves here this is the stop discharge voltage and if I press it again, it shows loop if you want to discharge a battery multiple time or for some reason charge it multiple time. I don't know why they even have it, but it is here. So if you want to do that, you can do so. And then it moves back. Now to change the value that is highlighted, we will change it using this switch. If I press it, it goes to auto, press it again, it changes to CH, charge and then discharge. So this will do that. And let's say discharge. And with this button, we can start or stop. Let's say channel four is now set discharge, this channel. And if I press it, 
the light is turning on, the fan is started, and here is the current. One ampere is being drawn and being wasted uh, on this resistor here. This is the resistor load. As the heat, it will just consume it. And as time passes, this shows the amount of the total uh, capacity, like 5 milliampere have been drawn now, 5 milliampere hour, and this is energy, 32 milliwatt hour, and this is showing internal resistance at the moment. This is not accurate, it's just based on the voltage, it will, it's based on the voltage, and this shows the total time. When the discharge reaches uh, to 3 volts, it will simply stop. To stop the discharge, you can press this button, it will stop, it shows the status. Now let's say you want to uh, charge this, so let's go to channel 1, it's 418, I don't think it will get the charge, but let's go to channel 2, 3, 4, okay, channel 1, if you want to charge it, now it's charge. if not, change it, discharge, charge, and then start. So the charge will start, 500 milliampere, as you can see it's 4.22, so this way you can charge, and let's say go to number 2 and discharge, this is now discharge, if you want to change it from here, you can change this uh, discharge, and then press start, now this is being discharged at 1 ampere, and the channel 1, if I want to see it, is being charged, so at the same time, you can charge or discharge. Each channel is totally independent. So, that is the quick explanation. Now, if you want to see the whole tests, please continue watching because I've done a lot of tests and I've shown each current, input current to this device uh, using the separate meter that I have and also will show you the charge current for each and discharge current. What this device is, is that this can charge your battery each independently and you can see the charge for each channel and how much energy you poured into the battery. Also you can discharge it, this is a resistive, you see we have four resistors here at the back which I'm going to show you. You can also discharge up to maximum of one ampere. For the charge we have to see the capacity and also we can discharge at the maximum rate of 1 ampere. When it charges, it shows the milliampere or ampere hour. This is sold on AliExpress for $8.87 cents and it's around $10 shipping, so the total will be uh, $18, but the price might increase. I'll provide you affiliated links for Amazon, Aliexpress and other stores, the link will be below the video in the description. Now let's open the capacity tester, this is how they shipped it. Oh, this is very new, 27 April 2023. Nothing else? And this is for removing the battery because sometimes you have the battery that might not have the handle or anything. Simply eject the battery with this. So, very useful. So we have a fan, two pores here, and then we have two layers of PCB. This is just to protect it, that's nice. So, so it has been labeled as channel 1, channel 2, 3 and 4 and each has an LED and we have two USB-C, 5 volts, 5 volts. Power it up for the first time, I'm connecting here and it shows welcome. Immediately this, this is bad now. Do you see this black line, the dead pixels? 
don't think that that's a black pixel or that it's actually the sticker that they have there is a color on this sticker so just remove it and it will be fine four i have four new batteries 18650 will connect very uh, powerful usb charger and then i'm gonna connect my power here let me show you a separate video for the two channel the link for that is below the video in the description so three screws now let's have a look at the components here under the magnifier we start from this corner these two chips A205L actually this is the famous charger TC4056 M333 M933 this is 595 used for a display perhaps this is a shift register this is a microcontroller from uh, new voton I'm sure they've wrapped the number this is also a gate 4051 and another TC4065 and on this side so the same two chips TC4065 are on both sides so these are connected directly yes so these are exactly the same two of them located in here on the screen on the screen you can see the channel uh, for each channel you will see the voltage the current either charge or discharge depending on how you set it and then this is the amount of current in terms of capacity and this is in terms of energy milliwatt hour and this is showing approximate internal resistance so this is not very accurate for a uh, proper measurement use a professional device but you see right now it shows 10,000 ohm because it, there is no internal resistance and this shows amount of time for each channel either for charge or discharge and then here it shows the status either stop or start and then the mode charge so we can change it with m here so we can change it to discharge and automatic when you set it to automatic it will be automatic automatically charging and discharging depending on on the uh, voltage if the voltage is too high it will discharge it and it will stop and if the voltage is low it will charge and then this line is the stop discharge voltage so when the voltage reaches at that value it, the discharge will stop for example right now it is set to 3 ampere uh, to 3 now the discharge voltage is set 3 volt and this is number of loops so if you want to discharge multiple time I don't think it will work but 
if you want you can do it so you can set the number of discharge now to to change the settings we, we select the channel first okay I'm pressing it it goes to channel 2 now all the value will be for channel 2 channel 3 and channel 4 if I press it again it will come back this is changing the menu M menu so you can go and when you go for each then you can change it using this button and change it using this button every time it goes 100 millivolts you see and 2.8 3 so it maximum is so 3.6 and 2.9 and then 3 3.1 2 3.3 3.4 .3, 3.5 3 3.5 was the maximum and it goes back to 2.5 whatever value you set for the discharge because we set it for the discharge let's set it to 3 and then if I press this menu it goes here how many times you want discharge here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and it will go back to 1 once you set everything you are happy with so now let's go back to uh, sorry let's go here and change it to charge now let's see what is this this is a stop voltage for discharge not for the charge let's see yeah so this is a discharge voltage not charge voltage because it if it was charged it should go to 4.2 volts so that will be misleading and be careful once everything is done we press just start which I'm going to show you next now I was checking these two inputs uh, it seems it, if I connect it to, to this terminal it is working now I'm going to this terminal and it just works so I don't understand why we have two separate USB maybe uh, to split the amount of charge for each channel let me check these two new batteries I've not touched them for almost more than a year now I totally forgot about them so this is 1.1 volt you can see it and let's negative positive 1.1 volt the voltage and I'm going to insert it in here you see the voltage is 1.18 volt and I think it's a little high but it's set to charge as soon as I inserted it it's now in, ch in channel 3 let's start hmm starting sometimes when the voltage is too low it will not charge but now it is charging as you can see the voltage is rising quickly still 10 million 100 milliampere or 400 it jumps now let me insert three more cells you see here it says three let's go here it changed to cha channel 2 and it showed what is the voltage let's go with this battery channel 1 2.3 volts they are very low because I've not charged them for a long time this has been charged I'm not sure let's see so channel 4 inserted 
4.23 so this is fully charged and now we can go one by one to charge first let's see because when we charge I believe it will charge only one battery at a time not all of them so select channel let's go to channel one and then it's set to charge if not we can go with the man menu this is charge and then start this is 90 milliampere or 100 you see 0 0.1 that's 90 and when it becomes 1 that's 100 milliampere and this light is now blinking let me turn the light off so you can see it now we cannot charge number two let's see press two two is in this charge mode let's change it to charge mode using this because the red is already selected just auto and then charge and after that press s which means start now this is now blinking one way to know is to measure the current so we know this is charging or not charging let me remove it so you see I've removed it still the system is showing me that this is charging but the current was zero now let's go to channel one and we are in channel one and that is the current because the voltage is too low the current is low until the voltage rises we will not be able to see it stop this so it has been stopped let me insert this to channel 2 voltage is 4 volts and then now it's in charge mode let's turn it on so 980 milliampere that's 1 ampere charge because the voltage was very high now this is charging and as you can see the fan is running my power supply can supply as much current as they need like 3 4 ampere will be fine now again if I go to 3 2.4 volts and if I start charge the light is on and now we can see that there is 10 milli 100 milliampere in here and let's go to channel one, 2 oh so it's running let's go to channel 2 so total should be more than one ampere now I'm gonna use this tool I've reviewed uh, this let me turn this off so this will sh the it's entering and I'm connecting this to the module and we will see the current in here now channel 2 channel 2 charge mode on 1 ampere let's go to channel 3 charge and then on now it's turned on and as you can see it shows 1.1 so what it means is that this is charging that's charging the total current is shown here because one ampere is for the other one so if I go channel 2 it's 960 milliampere so that's the input voltage and the total current is coming in here now let's turn on channel 4 channel 4 is 4.3 I don't think it will take any charge but let's change it to charge mode charge and then say on charge and then stop so it this doesn't take any current let's go to channel 1 charge and then on so now three lights are on the total current is 1.12 to the system and this is 90 one is 90 milliampere 
channel 2 is 900 channel 3 is that much let's see if this battery needs any charge for channel 4 I'm going to use this tool to remove it let's put it so we don't make mistake now this is 3.6 that's interesting now if I turn it on this will take very high current charge now this is charging as well now you see the total current so maximum current for each is one ampere but uh, due to voltage characteristics now number four is one ampere number one is 90 number two is 300 number three is 100 let's turn this number one and two off number two off stopped let's see if this has increased yes to no still so what it means is if the current is supplied to the input each can be charged up to one ampere if the battery needs it right now they don't need it i have enough current for it so number two is on now all of them are on and that's the total current to the input and here we can see the amount of energy for each cell amount of capacity that's energy milliampere hour is a capacity 34 that's very minimal and that's 144 milliwatt hour an internal resistance this is not accurate but approximate 26 milliohm at the moment and for channel 2 the time is 13 3 minutes channel 4 3 minutes 33 channel 1 1 minute 52 seconds I'm going to connect one more source to this pen let's see now I've connected two power but I want to charge three or four which we can see here one we cannot see it because I have not connected it let's turn the number four on number four is on but it is consuming yes so it's consuming from this port now if this port doesn't exist what happens if I disconnect it let's see what happens yeah now it's consuming from the other one 980 milliampere so if you have two sources it will pick whichever is available now if I connect this it's 800 now one ampere from this excellent turn this on number one on two on three on all of them all four is working so three and four is 1.24 because at this point now let me remove this source see if this is increased nothing much because 3 is 100 milli one is less than 100 so same thing now this is supplying so if you have two whichever is available it will can uh, if you have two one will be charging this the other will be for this if you have one it will be spread on all, to all uh, cells now I have connected separately one meter for the, this input which we see the current here and this in, input is for this now if you pay attention here uh, number two is 770 and if I go number one is 100 so that's 90 or 100 so total is about 900 milliampere from this input we see here now for this it shows 1.1 let's go to channel number three number three is 100 milliampere for this 
battery and then battery number four which is underneath is 980 which is one ampere so 1.1 ampere is here plus 30 extra because of this supplying power to this display and fan so we are reading and we are learning that if you connect two separate sources you will increase the amount of uh, charge current but if I disconnect this now see what happens let me disconnect it the current is from this input zero but let's see number one is 90 number two ended let's turn it on charging zero because we got disconnected this perhaps we have to turn all of them off and then stop 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 one also stopped and then number two uh, stopped now charging 800 so the same input is now supplying there let's go number three and turn it on 100 milliampere in here so you see 900 so ca current is going there and then number four started so now the current is total split it. that's 900 what is going on there number one start 90 number two stopped hmm so it doesn't charge if one is charging one ampere the other doesn't let me connect external source So two is not working, it says ended. Let's turn it on. Yes. So it will not charge all of them with one ampere, but with a little. If you connect external source, it will charge it better or faster with higher current. Let's, let's see the actual current that goes to the battery because there will be this was the input current we want to see the actual current so this was the negative now i'm connecting negative from the port to the battery so to the to this point and the positive as well this is a positive there and i'm going to connect the positive to the positive and this side of positive will be connected to the battery here now this is the current let's turn on start and here is the current here it shows 690 or 700 so this is 710 this is more accurate i know it because I have done the test you can see the video the link will be below the video and here 650 660 so very close this is amount of charge now that is going to the battery 650 650 so now I'm going to stop this now it's stopped now let's do the discharge I'm going to discharge this cell which we are just charging my wires are already connected let's set it to discharge by pressing this button so now it's discharge channel 4 3.37 so the discharge has a voltage stop voltage which is 3 let's turn it on and here we see negative which means the current goes backward 800 and that's exact current that you see with a little 10 uh, or 90 milliampere difference here we don't see it so depend the discharge current depends on the voltage of the battery so because the resistance have been calculated it should 
and discharge one ampere but if the voltage is low the current will be lower let's go to the next channel channel one and because this charge is set to exit at three if i change this to discharge for channel one discharge and if i set it to start amazing why it didn't stop it's supposed to stop at three volts now it's already 2.4 oh yes it ended so it took a few seconds now let's go to the next one channel 2 let's turn it on it's charge discharge and let's turn it on discharging it says status discharge and now it's blinking one ampere is discharged from this let's go to the next one three change to discharge turn it on 600 milliampere from this 800 from this one and you saw it let's go 800 and here from that's one ampere let me stop this channel number two is one ampere and let's measure the current and here now channel number two on oh this is not connected we are not reading the voltage yet yes now it's on connected oh that's the wire got disconnected let me connect it again so we are reading the voltage and turning it on one ampere and here it shows 890 and 890 so the, the measurement was correct now I don't need that meter let's just put this and turn it on for some reason if you want to see the input current here that's also the voltage of the input Now I'm going to charge all the batteries. One, change it to charge and then start. Number two, change it to charge and start. Go to number three, change it to ch charge and then number four uh, change it to charge and start number three is not started let's see three charge and start so all of them are now very interesting I've connected two separate sources number one is charging with 90 milliampere nothing much let's go to channel number two number two is charging with one ampere or 960 milliampere now this shows one ampere 1 1.1 at this terminal not there so that is one ampere of uh, it's on it must be otherwise we will see number three is now 100 milliampere which is shown here 
and then number four is one ampere 980 so that one ampere is coming 1.1 is from here and then one point something is coming from here so if you have two sources connect them separately it will charge faster because the amount of current will be distributed independently now channel 3 is because the voltage is too low the current is low maybe when it is above 3 volts uh, the amount of current will increase let's see 4 is good 1 is also too low 2.97 this should be very close channel number 300 milliampere let me disconnect it and show you something Now this is the voltage of the battery which is low I'm going to show you let's read the voltage 2.8 and I have a 4.2 volts voltage from external source so 4.27 even a little higher let me connect it so we can increase the voltage immediately positive in here four hundred milliampere goes here let's see if we bump this up I've connected it to four point two volts now it's getting four point two four hundred twenty milliampere and let me show you also the voltage in the meantime 3 volts don't worry about the polarity I just connected the wire incorrectly so the voltage is increasing now yes now this is charge connected if I disconnect it and measure the voltage maybe the voltage is low 2.96 let's just keep it for a few seconds few minutes number three is off now the voltage of this battery now has increase after I, after I connecting after I connected it now this voltage has increased to 3.1 let's let's see if this can take more charge channel 3 3.1 charge start yes so the voltage is now the current is now one ampere so what we learned is that if the voltage is too low externally connected with a non-charger power supply with a limited current set the current to one ampere and the voltage to 4.2 volts 4.2 volt one ampere and then connected it, it will be safe and then when the voltage reaches to above 3 then put it here as you can see it's taking a uh, good amount of current what happened here and uh, now 
1200 milliampere for these two so channel channel 1 970 channel 2 is now 240 not bad so this is now good channel 4 940 so it shows 1.1 .1. maybe portion is going there I have no idea if you want to purchase any of these meters I've done the review for these the link is below the video in the description one is 3.5 the current has increased two is ended why maybe it was at two volts let's turn it on again charging one point five amp you see the current ended so even though it's supposed to be four point two so it turns off at four point one three so uh, maybe the voltage is 4.2 let's see maybe the reading is incorrect let's see the voltage across the battery channel 2 4.13 so the volt the reading is very correct accurate so the reading is very accurate but it stops it didn't charge you see now if I press it again charging no current and it will stop because the current is zero this this Loticala uh, lipo pd4 is the best charger i've placed four batteries the first cell now it shows amount of capacity the current is 500 milliampere the voltage everything and then cell number four is 60 percent charged with the current 500 number two number one but if i have two of them then it will be one ampere each the amount of current will increase let me show you so now if i remove that if i remove that and then put it back one ampere and then one ampere so this is now one ampere and that's also one ampere but so that's the maximum amount of current and now if I put this the current has changed to 500 milliampere I have a full video review of this below the video in the description now the screen language can change from English to Chinese now this is in English this dis disconnect the power and again hold wait for this to turn on and you see this is now Chinese but oh so it now it is Chinese so to change it back to English turn off keep and hold and this and connect again and it is now English you can use each of these batteries separately if you connect the power and take the wire out to the positive and negative and discharge it and use it for your load but you cannot connect them in parallel or series you cannot do that because as soon as you connect it you will short circuit the internal circuitry it catch, catch fire or may, you, you might kill the device so it's not uh, possible to connect it in a series to create higher voltage while the batteries are on the board you can get this type of uh, battery casing this is not a good quality because uh, when you pull it off the wires will pull off but still it, it's very cheap it's already ready but this is very good quality but and it has not been connected so this allows you to connect them in series or in parallel but if you want them in series just connect this positive to the negative like that and this positive to that negative and you have one positive and negative and it will be four batteries in series if you want to create four the same way uh, the same way also there are three cell casing you can purchase them
Now I have left the camera recording while the battery is being discharged. We will see the relationship between the voltage and current and see how they change until it stops. And now we are going to charge the battery and I have left the camera recording it. Pay attention to the voltage and current, especially at the end when it reaches to the maximum value when of the voltage and it will stop. Now here is my conclusion, this is amazing device with the price and quality of belt, everything, uh, I have removed this panel, this is protected, very nice, so this can do three important jobs, first you can charge your battery just by connecting USB-C connector which is available with majority of phones and devices, you can do the discharge if you need it and discharge the battery at any time and also you can measure the capacity this is very important to understand that sometimes as the time passes you charge and discharge the battery the capacity decreases of course the amount of capacity is determined by the tolerance here the discharge current is determined by this resistor this is it says 3R9, 3.9 ohm J. J means 5%. When this is five, when this has 5% tolerance, it means 5% up or 5% down, and the measurement will have 5% error. So do not expect a very accurate reading because this is determining the discharge current uh, for the device, and the charge current is determined by this chip. TC4050, TC4056. I have separate video for this chip. The link is below this video. Now, which is 5%, so still this worth it. Uh, I have affiliated link below this video. When you purchase it, it will help me. I appreciate it if you purchase through that link. A separate video for this two channel because this was totally different. I created a separate video for that. If you want to watch it, uh, the link is below this video in the description. Thank you for watching. This was the review of this 18650 4 channel lithium ion battery tester, charger, and discharger. If you want to purchase it, the link is below the video in the description. It will help me. You can purchase it via that link. Please thumb up the video and also don't forget to subscribe. Hi, welcome to product review by Watt Hour. In this video, we are going to have a look at this smart universal LCD fast charger by Letukala. This is LIIPD4, and there are so many variations of this. It's sold, and it says two ampere fast charging for four uh, lithium battery. 
for different sizes. I'm going to measure the efficiency when I'm connecting it from external power. This is when you're connecting it with 12 volts. And I'm going to measure the current for each cell when we are charging it. So we see, is it really supplying 2 ampere, 1 ampere, and uh, 500 milliampere or not?